In today's video, we're going to be learning how to set up the Movement SDK with both Unity Humanoid avatars and Ready Player Me avatars. In a previous video, we were able to test the Movement SDK's implementation using an armature that we found in the SDK's sample prefabs. But of course, since we're creating our own projects, we might want to use other types of avatars. So without further ado, let's hop right into how we do exactly that. Let's start with Unity Humanoid avatars. To do that, let's head to Unity Asset Store and search for Unity Humanoid. Here, we'll find a bunch of different avatars we can choose from. For the sake of this video, however, we'll go with the well-known and beloved Robot Kyle by Unity Technologies. So let's head to his page, click on Add to my Assets, and we can go back to Unity. You'll find all the useful links in the description below. As you can see, we're using the project that we set up in the previous video with the Movement SDK. Let's head into Window, Package Manager, and here we'll search for Kyle. Once we found Kyle, we are going to download and import him into our project and click on import. Now you can see that our avatar here has a bit of a problem. It's all pink and that is because RobotCal actually uses the universal render pipeline for its materials and this project is not set with URP. So two solutions would be either to transform this whole project into URP or to just change which uh, render pipeline the material is using and we're gonna go with the second option with it Which is a lot simpler. So let's go into Robot under robot Kyle and here you'll find the material we can either change it to standard or we can use the same render pipeline that Meta is using here with the movement SDK. So we go into movement and PBR metallic and here you'll see it looks a, a lot better now what we can also do to make it look a bit nicer is reduce the metallicness a bit, maybe to 0.3. Another really important thing that we need to check whenever we're planning to use a Unity Humanoid avatar with the Movement SDK in our project is to make sure that the rig is a humanoid rig. To do that, we'll need to find the model first. So for Robot Kyle, what you could do is click on Robot Kyle and then go onto the avatar. But what you can also do is go into the Space Robot Kyle folder and then into Models. With the model in front of us, what we need to do is click on it and then make sure that on the Rig tab, the animation type is Humanoid. If it's not, make sure to change it to Humanoid and then press Apply. Now let's head into Configure, into Muscles and Settings, and let's make sure that Translation DOF is ticked. And then press Apply. Now to enable the tracking for the avatar, all we need to do is right click on Robot Kyle, go into Movement Samples, Body Tracking, and then Animation, Rigging, Retargeting, Full Body Constraints. Now let's test it. And there we go, we can see that our character is rigged and is moving with our movements. If I twist my arm, it's also twisting, my hands are working nicely. And since I'm sitting down, I'm right now in the sitting position. But if I stand up, we can see that our character is also moving with us. Now, we do see a couple issues here. The hips seem to be offset, so we will fix that in a second. I've removed the table just so we can see a bit more clearly here. We have the hips that are rotated in a bit of a weird angle. Uh, each character that you rig will come with a bit of a different set of adjustments that you need to do. In this case, the way to fix this is to go into Robot Kyle, and then here under the retargeting layer script, we have a section all about adjustments where you can add adjustments to certain joints that you want. In this case, we have the hips joint that already came with a 60 degree change on the X axis. We want to remove this and then add one of 300 degrees on the Z axis. And as you see, it looks a lot better right now. Finally, make sure to copy these changes and paste them again while you're not in play mode, as all the changes that are made in play mode will not be carried over. You can also learn about how to add more adjustments to improve the character appearance on the Body Tracking for Movement SDK website, which will also be linked below. Now that we're done setting up Robot Kyle, we can delete the old armature and start setting up the Ready Player Me avatar. Let's head to the Ready Player Me Studio website, and here we'll need to follow these first two steps. The first step, we're going to be creating an account and then our avatar, and in the second, we'll import it into Unity. So let's head to the first website and check it out. Here, we'll need to sign in and then create our avatar. As you can see, this is mine. Once you're happy with how your character is looking, we can head back to the Ready Player Me Studio website and start with the second step, which is importing the SDK into Unity. So let's click on this link right here. It will send us to the quick start guide and here we'll find the git URL 
to the package. So let's copy that and head into Unity. Here, let's click on Window, Package Manager, and the small plus icon, and then Add Package from Git URL. Here's where you'll be pasting the URL that you just copied, and then press on Add. And once it's done importing, you'll get this menu right here. To complete this step, we'll need to input our own subdomain. Let's head back to the Ready Player Me Studio website and click on Add Application. Here, you'll need to add the application name, website, specify that it's Unity, and add a small description. Once that's done, you'll get your application displayed like so. Click on it, and it will open this page where you'll be able to copy your subdomain from here. Also, make sure the avatar type is set to full body. Now save. Also, make sure to copy the app ID. Now in Unity, we'll paste both the subdomain and the app ID and we'll click on next and finish setup. At the top bar, we now have a Ready Player Me section. Let's press on it and press on avatar loader. Here we'll need an avatar URL to load into our scene. So let's go back to Ready Player Me website and grab it from there. We can either head back to this page and press on next to get the URL and copy it. If this is grayed out, you can refresh or you can go back to the Ready Player Me hub website and copy it from here like so. Now let's head back into Unity. Let's paste the URL into here and load avatar into current scene. And there we have it. Now we can rename the avatar into whatever we like. I can just put my name and then we can disable Robot Kyle. The same thing we did for Robot Kyle, we need to make sure that the avatar is using a humanoid rig and that translation DOF is turned on. So let's go into our Ready Player Me avatar and click on the avatar right here. Now it will send us to this rig, but as you can see, we cannot access the animation type, although it is set to humanoid, but we also need to enable DOF, which isn't enabled and we cannot access it. Even if we go through here, we will not be able to save the translation DOF ticked on. So what we'll need to do is copy this and let's head back into our assets folder and let's create a new folder called avatar with DOF. And here we're going to paste our avatar. As you can see now we can set it to humanoid and we can go into configure, go into muscles and settings, turn on translation DOF and apply and press done. Let us now head back to our avatar and we need to change this avatar right here with the new one that we edited. So drag the blue icon onto the avatar field right here. And you'll see that it will change when the blue line appears right here. Now, all we need to do is right click on our Ready Player Me and go into movement samples, body tracking, animation, rigging, retargeting, full body constraints. And there we have it. Now we can try it out. Now we have our hands and we can see our body and our arms. And now I can switch also to the scene view so we can see the full body. I'll disable this table as well. And now since I'm sitting, you can see that it's in the sitting position. But if I stand up, now we're walking, we're moving, we can jump and yeah, there, it's working. Awesome. And there we have it. We learned how to set up the movement SDK's body tracking with two different types of avatars, the Ready Player Me avatar and the Unity Humanoid avatar from the Asset Store. In the next video of the series, we'll learn about how to implement the Interaction SDK into our project so we can grab and move objects among other things. If that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. In any case, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, a like would be much appreciated. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.